Hello, Magic Community. I'm T1 Glistener Elf. I got a package in the mail the other day. It says here August 21st. That sounds about right. From none other than... Well, first of all, it's from Yonkers, <laughs> New York, which is, uh, aside from Dusseldorf, the best-named city in the world. But it's from a certain Craig Wesco. <laughs> so we're going to open this up and... Uh, <clears throat> I'm s just to give you a heads up, I apologize, I am a little sick, so sorry about that. It's why you see the, uh, <laughs> the nice little cup over here. It's probably going to end up using a good bit. Alright, so, while I'm opening this, uh, Craig said, well actually, as soon as I tell you, that's going to give away what it is, so we'll do the unboxing first, and then I'll give you the, the background, the context. Unboxing, unbagging, unpackaging, that's actually a word. Alright. I could just rip it like like a, a little kid on Christmas. I don't like to. Let's not just tear it apart. All right. <clears throat> All right. So guess what this one is? It's a shirt. But wait, there's more. There's another shirt. All right. I, I pulled you out of the bag first, so we'll go with you. All right. Do 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 Ta da da da! <laughs> oh, it's a Sahili Ra, and something just fell. And you, you can't quite see it, it fell off the camera. Uh, it's a Sahili Rai Pro Tour competitor shirt. <laughs> so I'm outing myself. If I ever in the future some, some version of me says, look, I made it to the Pro Tour just because I got a shirt. No, no. <laughs> Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. Sahili Rides is awesome enough on a Pro Tour shirt. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm excited. And then uh, the next one, and we're going to get to the thing that fell out in just a second. Yeah, let me just take your shirt that you <laughs> so nicely folded for me and wrinkle it. Okay, well, we'll get to you too. Alright, so who's this one going to be? Da 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 da. <laughs> That's not the two. Da 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 da. <laughs> okay, so we get Chandra. We get. Uh, that's a pretty sick steampunk esque art, I think, of Chandra. That's pretty cool. Oh, the back of the shirt is just black. That's it. But it says Pro Tour down at the bottom. Same bit uh, for Ether Revolt this time. Okay, okay, so, which one am I going to put on first? Which one, am, eventually both, which one am I going to put on first? Tell you what, Sahili, you, uh, you came out first, and, well, technically Chandra came out first, but came out of the bag first, and <laughs> you were combo crazy, you broke standard for a little while, so we're going to put you on first. Alright, so, get to see what this looks on me now. <laughs> I assume Craig Wesco is about my size because they're both smalls. Although he was selling another one that was an extra large. So before we before we do the reveal, <laughs> these are Craig Wesco Pro Tour cards, and they're signed by Craig Wesco. TCG player hype. That's <laughs> how cool is that? <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna use these for humans tokens for a bit, and soldiers and warriors and plants and whatever else I can find. Those little uh, insects with infect that come off of uh, carrion call. I'm going to use it for everything. Okay, let's flip this around. Uh, get around. Let's see. Make it where people can see. Maybe. Ah, there we go. <laughs> I'm having a good time. My throat is so sore, but I'm having a good time. And there's the one light, so this is going to be really bright. I'm going to blind you all with all of this. All right. So, there's a story. Let me tell you the story. Because he did not ask me to do this, but I'm going to. <clears throat> Sorry. So, August 12th. Craig Wesco says on Twitter that he's, quote, I'm getting rid of my Pro Tour shirts to raise money for a good cause. If you want one, you can acquire it here. Sends a link to uh, an eBay search for, I guess, Craig Wesco, I think is what it ends up being. And Pat Cox asks, what is the cause? And Craig Wesco responds, but me being me, I didn't see that. So <laughs> I, I saw the one that came after it chronologically, but on Twitter, it's, it came above it. So I, I got to this one first. Selling the rest of my Pro Tour shirts at $15 each. If you want one, get it quick. 
I clicked the link and I ended up buying them. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so <laughs> I ended up getting both of these shirts and the cards that came with them. It's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Um, and I asked him later on, uh, we, we had a little message on, he and I are friends on Facebook and that's awesome by the way, <laughs> and uh, I asked him, we had a thing about shipping we got sorted out, and uh, if you don't mind, let's see, if it's any of my business, what was the cause, and I didn't see that he had mentioned it on Facebook or elsewhere on Twitter, uh, because Pat Cox responded to his tweet, and I, I saw the tweet later on, the August 12th one, I didn't see the Pat Cox response. Don't! <laughs> but, he, uh, he told me, some, he mentioned it on Facebook, response to Pat Cox, found the Pat Cox one eventually, it is two, and I saw where he put it on Facebook. I'm going to put a link to this in the doobly-doo. It is an Indiegogo for uh, a documentary called The Invisible Vegan. He says on Facebook, uh, getting rid of all my Pro Tour shirts in the past two years on eBay in order to raise money for Jasmine Leva's documentary, The Invisible Vegan, because I believe in her project and in her as a director. 100% uh, of the money will be contributed to her project. If you don't want a shirt but would still like to back her project, I encourage you to do so directly from the Indiegogo link provided. Alright, so again, down in the doobly-doo if you want to check it out. I did not know that this was a thing. I did not know any of uh, Miss Leva's other works, but I checked out her IMDb page, which is also, if I remember to put it in there, in the doobly-doo, so go check that out as well. This is not her first rodeo. It looks like she's been around the block a bit. Uh, done a few. <laughs> done a few. I'm seeing uh, Judge Faith being unsung and My Black is Beautiful as a producer on those. And then crew and actress, so yeah, this at, at least somewhat proven, <laughs> you know. So there you go. It looks like uh, as of the time I'm recording this, so by the it's 21 days left, so probably 20 days by the time you see this because my internet here is slow. So, <laughs> and it looks like it's more than halfway done. Uh, 28,862 out of 50,000. If you would like to contribute to that, by all means, go right ahead. It looks like a good project. And if Craig Wesco, who is maybe he's a contender for my favorite magic player it it's really close there's a there's a top three and he's he's definitely one of them <laughs> uh, spoiler alert all of my favorite magic players I have tribute videos for on the channel so that it narrows it down a bit for you um, yeah if, if he's willing to sell his shirts to his pro tour shirts uh, then I'm more than willing to give a shout out to a cause that he, he appreciates. Again, he did not ask me to do this, but I don't think he'd mind. <laughs> All right, so that's it, Magic Community. Uh, that's it for that one. There, there are a couple other things I want to be on about real quick. Uh, the first one is on my Twitter, if you will jump from his Twitter over to my Twitter, uh, I put up a poll really quickly. And this poll is, I am working on building a vintage deck. Now by building, doesn't mean I'm actually good. I, I'm proxying up a vintage deck. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's vintage. I mean, otherwise I'm not going to be able to play. Um, so yeah, I have a few options on here. All of them are brews, intentionally. Uh, none of them are, are major decks. None of them are serious decks in vintage. I'm, I'm wanting to do a brew. And the four options I list you can check out on Twitter and you can go and vote. Uh, they are High Tide, Infect, the Dawkins Storm and Wizard Tribal. So, if you would like to see any of those, uh, go and vote. Actually, eventually, I hope to get around to all of them. But which one do you want to see first? And there, it honestly, might be a bit of a gap between. So, which one am I building first? Right now, it's all it's pretty close between them as of recording. Of course, as soon as I upload this, I imagine it won't be. But we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, so that's that's announcement number. One or two, depending on, that's post-announcement number one. Post-announcement number two, uh, some of you may have seen on Facebook or on Twitter or me talking about it in some of my videos that I am working on a Kickstarter. Uh, I have written a children's book. It is in the process of being illustrated, and the Kickstarter would be to cover the rest of the cost of illustration and printing and distribution and, um, well, it's Kickstarter, so Kickstarter rewards, and that's it. And fees, miscellaneous fees like copyright and that sort of thing. 
uh, and then then it's ready to go. It is a it is a children's book that is based on not based on it is the lullaby that I wrote for Evangeline, my daughter, my little baby. <laughs> She's so cute. You see her on the channel all the time nowadays. Uh, it's the lullaby I wrote for her, put to uh, a book, and it, it is a lullaby, so you can actually sing it. It's sung to the Tetris B theme, so the. Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't try this when my voice is giving out, but <laughs> it's the do 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 that that thing yeah not the original that's do 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 I'm having a good time right now. Um, yeah, it, it is a lullaby, so you can get it, you can sing it to your kids, give it as a, as a gift to someone who's about to have a kid, newlyweds, whatever, whatever. <laughs> um, it's, I think it's precious. It has Evangeline in it. Of course I think it's precious. Alright, <laughs> so that's about it for now. Uh, I'm sure we'll get around to more, but for right now, that's it. I'll let you be. Take care, Magic Community, and I will see you later. Bye-bye. Oh, this is so, this is so cool. Oh my goodness.